Brad Garlinghouse drops a bomb, guys. You need to pay attention. You're going to lose your mind over the plan that has already been made. First, let's look at this clip. Not in the US, folks. Is that why? I have a thought about this. I'll play this and let you know what I think. If Ripple wants to go public in the US, it will not do so. Once more, why does Ripple build all of their partnerships, not in the US? Why are they only interested in other countries? It looks like they aren't paying attention to the US. Why do you ask? They know the US dollar is about to fall apart and are ready for it. Don't ask me why the RLUSD is tied to the USD. It's for a reason. Trust. First public offering, or IPO, for those who don't know what it is. Thanks for the info. It's the first time that wind stocks from a private company are available to the public. Brad Garlinghouse just cleared the air by talking about this. He said that Ripple Labs will not be going for an IPO in the US at the Korean blockchain week on Wednesday. This is happening because regulations aren't clear, which is something we all know. Gary Gensler works for the SEC. To be honest, they don't want to get into any more legal trouble with the government or the SEC. Besides that, he is telling other crypto companies that want to enter the US market to think again because digital laws are still not clear here. He said that doing business in the country was just a way to get more court fees. To be clear, he's not encouraging us spending at all. Does that fit with BRICS? Oh my goodness, it does. I like this girl. That's interesting. I like this girl. I like this girl. So, make sure you're here with me every day. Okay, Ripple won't go public here because the SEC has to give its okay first. Also, they'll want to go public when the stock market is rising and has reached all-time highs. It's been crazy for about two years now. We got back from COVID and are now where we are. Just think about how bad things were four years ago. Okay. And the way things are now is pretty crazy. People are still really poor. I'm sorry for my French, but listen, the SEC has until October 6th to make a case for itself. I made a video about this. The SEC probably won't file an appeal. If they do that, I think they'll lose. I don't think they want to spend the money. But look at this. This is like XRP came out in 2013. XRP price back, picture getting XRP in 2014. I really wish I had known about that. Some XRP would be great. Then it must be ISO compliant, right? That will be here this year. Okay, keep it together. You did plant and deliver, right? ISO talks about how Ripple could become a normal way for banks to send money to each other around the world. As part of the Ripple software, the interledger protocol is made standard for linking banks and cash ledgers. Okay, that's cool. I want to. Be sure that I didn't put makeup on my face. I'm sorry I had to check that. In other words, Ripple began here. First Bitcoin came out and then Ripple. Arthur, you and your consortium gave birth to blockchain. It should be ledger solutions that become mature and all asset trading networks that can work with the interledger protocol. Everything will work out. The third quarter of DH Fabric is made up of blockchain solutions, capital markets, and trade finance, LIP. Java is used as a standard for sharing in Hyperledger Foundation projects, friends, everything has to work together. It all has to be able to work with each other. The interledger protocol makes that possible so that value can move from one network to the other. The web is useful, right? That's the reason they want to change the world. They're not here to mess around. These people aren't here to make money. They're here to change everything, right? Don't stray, right? In this letter from September 4th, the defendant Ripple Labs asks for a stay of the money part of the court's judgment from August 7th, 2024. And ECF number 924. The plaintiff's Securities and Exchange Commission agrees to this request in full. So let's give them a little more time. I'm not a lawyer. If you really want to go, talk to some lawyers. You know, Jeremy Hogan, there's a lot of really great, there's one more too, I forgot what his name was. The Ripple stable coin will be out in a few weeks, guys. I'm sorry, but there are some really busy people. It's coming this way. Okay, don't forget how important the links are to SBI and coming to Japan. Okay, so MUFG, Muzuhu, and SMBC, three banks in Japan, plan to use the stable coin to send money across borders, right? By 2025, it will be live. Listen, when you have good news, I assume people who have been following what you do will know that you might launch your stablecoin a little faster than most people thought. Well, we've said from the start that we'll do everything we can to launch this year. Ripple only does things that are approved by regulators and come with licenses. This is a very important reason why we will continue to work with US regulators before we launch the stablecoin. We plan to release it first in the US, but we think there's a market for stablecoins around the world. For example, Japan passed some laws this year that made stablecoins legal there. So steps are being taken right now to make stable coins here in Japan as well. Yes, I'd like to talk about that. But when we're, okay, friends, this will all work because each bank will have its own stable coin, right? 
is it possible for them to start it on Ripple's network? Were, were, okay. Ripple first learned how to make payments across borders, and then they learned about CBDCs and the technology behind them so they can help any country set up its own CBDC. They are now moving on to stable coins. This is because, right, there's about $50 trillion in cash or paper money in banks around the world. Right now, there are about $21 or $22 trillion in paper money in the United States. Okay, putting that money into tokens and giving them to Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, or any other bank can give them their own safe coin. Why do you do this? Okay, this is because Chase sends money to Chase in Australia from Chase in New York every so often. I guess you don't understand what I mean. These people spend a lot of cash to send money from one bank to another. However, it will be incredibly cheaper to use the XRP ledger and a stable coin on that ledger, such as the Chase stable coin or the Wells Fargo stable coin or any other stable coin. That's why banks are going to do it. All of that value will be turned into tokens and sent somewhere else. Yes, in the world of us treasuries, there are trillions of dollars worth of them moving around. All of those will end up on that, okay? What does it mean to move the stock market? Yes. What will happen when the DTCC decides to move all of those stocks and settlements to a digital platform like R3 or XRP? That's going to happen. I know that the DTCC has been making progress with R3. I know Donald Donahue has moved because he used to be the head of the DTCC. He joined Ripple's board about six years ago. Of course, there are still some unknowns about how everything will turn out, but you get the point. Ultimately, there will be more than one winner. But when this value can be used on all of these chains, we will really win and our XRP will be worth every penny. It doesn't matter what the price is right now. It's about what will happen with the policy after this. That's how it works. That's where the worth comes from, right? It's not what you and I think the price of XRP should be right now. It's when all of this wealth worth trillions of dollars goes on chain. Almost 30,000 people have signed. Start up, we're not far away. If you're here and haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. That would mean a lot to me, and I love you for it. It will be my birthday here on September 13th. I turned 40. That is, if I could reach 30,000 before then, it would be really, really helpful. If these movies help you learn something and you like them, please share them with your friends. Thanks a lot for that. It is a big deal that the central banks and officials in all of the world's biggest financial markets are working to set up stable coin rules for issuing and using coins. We're working with politicians, regulators, and central banks to build the framework for these digital currency units that can be used in different ways. Japan is about to go through the same thing. They already have a foreign currency, stable coins, and a whole reserve plan. This means that USDC can only be held by Japanese people. In other words, all of these countries are setting up these frameworks. It's really exciting because we're building the financial system for the internet. We also agreed on the basics of working together with Circle, an American company that makes safe coins. On November 21st, 2018, the SBI Bank is part of our group, there must also be electronic payment systems, trading activities, assets that are being used, high price traders, and all of these other things in order to run this. Business, we will be the only business that has a major license to deal with safe coins. After that, Circle Inc. will release USDC, which is the second most safe coin after USD Tether. It will be backed by cash and cash equivalents in the US. Japan has strict rules about how to buy, sell, acquire, and do other things with USDC in the form of dollars. We plan to follow these rules and do these things anyway. I got this clip from NCash, I guess. Nick, I just flew you around Twitter, so give NCash a big shout out. He works very hard in this area. He is a great person. I've talked to him a lot of times. He works very hard. Go check out his channel and follow it. Guys, pay attention. We know where things are going. We're sure that these things will be worth a lot more in the future. Take the time to keep learning. Don't lose sight of the facts. It's important to remember this because in three, five, or 10 years,